All right, what I got here is a case front end loader bucket tilt cylinder, cylinder number G108487. And we're going to be doing a reseal on it. If you like this sort of thing, go down there, click the subscribe, turn the bell on for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. First things first. Well, these case cylinders, they've got a uh, screw here in the side of the gland, between the gland and the tube, and that has to come out. They're usually a Phillips, a standard slotted, or in this case, a hex. So, take it out. A lot of times these will snap as well, so just be mindful. I have had to drill these out before. That's uh, the screw in this one. Set it to the side. And this has four spanner holes in the gland. I'm going to take our spanner tool try to break it loose all right that's a good sign so we'll just continue to do this and take this uh, gland loose okay we continue to take it loose until we can turn it by hand and pull the rod out a little bit so I got enough room there all right glands loose and we just pull the rod out on uh, case cylinders uh, the way these are designed, these uh, corrode and rust quite a bit. This one actually don't look too bad. Wipe it down real quick. And even though it's discolored, it actually ain't too bad. Everything feels smooth. But we'll run a wire brush in there and clean that up a little bit. All right, I got a wire wheel brush, whatever you want to call it on here, and I'll clean this up. Make sure it doesn't grab your rag. All right, be sure and bring your rag out. ahead and wipe it down and you can tell that's that's a lot cleaner than it was there's still uh, some pitting in here where the o-ring and backup seat but I mean without honing this and everything you're not really going to get that back to perfect so that's good enough all right we got a rod in the vise we're going to need that's an inch and an eighth. I get an inch and an eighth socket and an impact and I'll be back. All right, I got my inch and an eighth socket and impact and uh, we're going to take her off. And this was a three quarter inch drive impact. Ingersoll ran. Um, 2145 QI Max, not sponsored. So we got our piston off, piston bolt out, and then we pull the gland off. Go ahead and pull the seals. Got an O-ring, back up, and sometimes there can be an O-ring here, but not this time. Go in here, our main rod seal, which is a U-cup. Then in here, this bottom groove, there's a buffer. Buffer comes out. 
and then our wiper is totally gone so I'll start a pick under the bottom of the wiper and what I'm doing is getting that raised up just enough to get a screwdriver under it so I'll get my screwdriver started up under that little spot there It's under enough, and then I'll twist and pop the wiper out. And then I'll take the piston seal off. Piston seal comes off. That's the Teflon outer seal, and then uh, the expander. and the wear band and I forgot to mention there's a wear band in here as well this wear band can be a little tricky to get out sometimes and the inner wear band some will get all this some will get the gland and the piston cleaned up and find the new seals and get back with you okay we got everything cleaned up and uh going to start resealing it so starting with the piston first we'll take the expander here and get it stretched over the piston make sure it doesn't roll if it does be sure and roll it back to normal now we'll take our piston seal our teflon seal It'll slide over to the first groove. Go ahead and put your pick through there and basically walk this thing on. Now where that's deformed, we're going to have to get our seal clasper. Got our seal clasper here. Get it put on the piston there. Get it all nice and tight and we'll set that to the side. All right, next we'll get the gland. We'll need our backup first. So this backs the O-ring and there's a concave side and it goes on the, the concave faces the bottom of the gland. So this is the bottom of the gland and that concave is facing that direction because it has to back the O-ring, the pressure from it, so it fits the O-ring's profile. Take the O-ring, put it on. So that's what that looks like. Next, we'll turn the gland upside down. Take our wear band. We'll get her overlap like that and basically put it in from the bottom and push until uh, it goes into the groove in there okay that just clicked in place that's in there our buffer is next this style it actually has a lip on the bottom so that lip will face the pressure so in the gland this is the top this flat side of the buffer will sit in here in this orientation and that goes in the bottom so we'll get one side started basically just work that until you can get it started in the groove here once that's started in the groove one side you can just take and push basically just push it down into place like so and then uh, basically just push it down and then it pops in place like that and 
And next is our main pressure seal. This is a U-cup, a loaded one. It's got an O-ring in the in the center of it. And on this one, this is so stiff, I'm actually going to use the seal installation tool. I make a special tool for this. So this is a seal installation tool. Basically, it goes in like this. And you take and you basically deform that to where this is the seal looks like that and that what that allows you to do is get that started in the groove while holding pressure then you can take well take and get it like that and then push it in all the way and that works on these really stiff seals lastly is the wiper we'll take and start it there start that hammer and work that way around. After all that's done, we'll get some grease, put it in the gland there, and start back on the rod, give it a pump there, and push the gland on. Get a little more grease, put on this O-ring and back up. Okay, I got some anises here that I'll put on the threads I just like to go at an angle there I'll put this in about three spots that way when I turn this gland in uh, it'll screw into the threads okay we'll go ahead and grab our piston took our clasper off and that shrunk that back down we'll take our wear band and it goes here in this groove right there well the way this piston's made it's counterboard to go up over the rod we'll put that back on there put a little bit of 121 thread locker on this bolt then we'll get our impact and tighten her back down Go ahead and get some grease, put on that new piston seal, set the rod to the side there, put the tube back in. Okay, we've already cleaned this up from before. Go ahead and get a little more grease and be careful not to cut your fingers or anything. Can be burrs in these, I've done it before basically get that greased up we'll get our rod and basically you just hold pressure and walk it and push it and then we'll turn it in and then that anesthesia we put on there will work into the threads and help prevent if any moisture gets in go ahead and tighten this all back down tighten it just to where your bolt will line up your bolt hole will line up so I'll start that back in and tighten that down and that's it we'll push our rod back in and that's how we reseal a case uh, loader tilt cylinder so if you enjoyed this if you would go down there click the subscribe turn the bell on for notifications and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it i appreciate you taking the time to watch until next time
Thanks for watching.